Hi friends, you know what I noticed? I noticed that I can tell what season we're up to by looking at the trees. If I go outside and I see trees that don't have any leaves on them, maybe they have some white on them from the snow, I know that it's winter. But if I go out and I see trees that have red and yellow and orange leaves on them, I know that it's fall. And if I go out and I see trees that have flowers on them, I know that I must be in the middle of spring. And now when I go outside, I see trees that have lots of green leaves on them. So I know that I'm in the middle of the summer. That's right. I'm in the middle of the summer. Now today, I want to make a special summer tree. And I'm going to use a technique that is called rip paper. I'm not going to draw it with a marker or crayon. Uh, I'm not going to use oil pastels or paint. I am going to use rip paper in order to make the tree. And the good thing about rip paper is I don't even need a scissor. I just rip it with my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need some glue. And I'm going to need a regular paper. And I'm going to put some glue with the regular paper going down for my trunk. Now what color is the trunk of the tree? Purple? No. Blue? No way. A trunk of a tree is brown. That's right. It's brown. Almost always it's brown. And so I'm going to take my brown right here. I'm taking my brown and I'm going to rip my paper. I'm going to rip it and I'm just going to stick it on in rip pieces. I'm going to stick it onto my glue. And I love the effect that rip paper makes. Now, I'm using actually tissue paper because that's the paper that I have. But you can also do this using construction paper and it actually comes out really nice with construction paper. Um, but I just don't have construction paper in my house right now. So that's fine. I'm just going to use tissue paper. And that'll be good. And I'm taking these rip pieces of paper. It's fun to rip. And I'm taking these rip pieces of paper and I'm setting them down on the tree. And that is going to be my trunk. Now if I want my trunk to be a little bit thicker, I can put more glue. Here is how my trunk looks right now. If I want it to be a little thicker, I can take more glue and put it on on the sides and make it thicker. I can build it up. But now I'm ready to do the leaves. Now, it's my summer tree, so what color are the leaves going to be? Green. Exactly. My leaves are going to be green. So here I go. I'm making lots of little swirls with the glue because now I'm going to take out my green paper, my green paper, and I'm going to tear it again. I don't need a scissor. doesn't have to be exact. I'm tearing my paper. I'm putting it onto my glue, and I'm going to make a summer tree. This is my big, strong summer tree. And this is so much fun to just rip it and put it on. And again, I'm using tissue paper because I don't have contact con con I don't have construction paper right now, but you can use construction paper. It works just as good, even better maybe. I don't know. Maybe the same. Um, I guess they're just different, but it works just as well. And you can make your tree with construction paper. Okay. And look at my tree. Doesn't that look great? It looks real. It looks like the leaves are really on my tree. I love how that looks. And of course now I can sign my work because I made this work of art. So I'm going to sign my work of art. I'm going to write S O R A H. I'm writing my name and you could write yours. There we go. Sign your name on the bottom. That's your work of art. And now I have my beautiful summer tree. Bye-bye, friends.